Well, good evening, everybody. We're here at Peabody City Hall waiting for the, waiting for the um, presidential primary results along with the results of the 12th District District State Representative race between Tom Walsh, Chris Gallagher, and Stephanie Peach. I'm here with Lucy Sosimo. Lou, it's always an exciting time, uh, election time, um, with city clerk's office is going full bore right now trying to get the final results. But I think we do have a few temp uh, unofficial results that right. I think they're scrolling down at the bottom of the screen. But a couple of things you want to talk about. You wanted to talk a little bit about the absentee yeah. rules. Well, first of all, uh, this was a great day weather-wise, <laughs> just like the primary. If uh, anyone didn't go out to vote, they had to have a good excuse. But uh, the percentage was up high. We didn't get the actual percentage, but I think it was close to 50 percent. And uh, first of all, the absentee ballots, comparing to other elections, and this is a normal presidential election, uh, 455 absentee ballots went out for uh, Tom Walsh and Stephanie Peach right. and Chris Gallagher, where uh, 600 went out for the uh, presidential election. Yeah, I think, you know, I think the candidates were both working hard. That's a sure sign of their hard work. I think they both realized it was going to be a tough race and we won't get every vote that they could get. So I'm sure they worked the, the absentees pretty hard. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know where you voted, Barry. Probably in Ward 1 like you normally do. Yeah. But uh, I went to a lot of different polling places today and I was amazed. I saw Peach and uh, Walsh signs all over the place, yeah. but I didn't see one presidential sign out. I thought for sure that either Trump or uh, Clinton or someone like yeah. that would have some people holding signs, but that didn't happen. They come out, the people come out on their own. Yeah, I, I think the people that they would probably get to usually work the polls who uh, were really involved in the state rep race, to be honest with you. We saw quite a few, quite a few out there. Um, yeah. and just, yeah. just a sign that it, you know, that it was going to be a very close election. I think they were working it pretty hard. Now, for the people that don't know at home, uh, there was two ballots. And uh, it'll be very interesting to find out where and when and if some people took a Walsh and Peach ballot, but not a presidential ballot, or the opposite. If someone took a uh, presidential ballot and not a Walsh and thing. But uh, the, the, the right ends in the Walsh were very low, so it seemed like they went out for either Peach, Walsh, or Gallagher. Right, ex exactly. And, and, you know, and, and saying that they went out with the turnout loop, um, just. Just a hats off before we forget to the city clerk's office, who, who again did a wonderful job. I, you know, there were a few glitches from what I understand. Some things Tim's going to have to work out, but they did their usual stellar performance, I think. And and um, under know. the conditions, with the sure. weather, with the storm that they got, the, the water break that they got. That's right. Uh, Tim had to move the whole counting procedure into the main office, which is uh, wide open, but uh, it, it didn't let the average person go into that office uh, once the polls right. were well, it's, it's barricaded pretty good right now, Lou, if you look over there. So, right. uh, you know, uh, so I, I know they did do a couple interviews um, earlier right. today. Uh, they, I think they had an opportunity to the, the PAT people to go over and, and interview the candidates. And I, I think they have a clip that they want to break into right about now. So if it could, um, we could roll the clip if you could. Good afternoon, I'm Lucas Sosmo. Here it is, Election Day 2016, and it's a state primary, a state final election for the state representative of the 12th District District. And uh, it's a great day for an election. It's warm, there's no excuse for not getting out. And so far, there's a huge crowd uh, voting today. We're at St. Anne's Church right now, and with me is Stephanie Peach. And uh, Stephanie, how's the day going so far? Oh, uh, the day's been absolutely great. We're we're out holding signs across the city. We've been making calls, making sure people get to the polls on time and make sure they get out after work. So the response has been great. We've gotten beeps and waves and thumbs up. Uh, people have come up to me that I've never met saying, you know, I'm so happy that I got to vote for you. So it's it's been such a positive day. I'm so excited. It's been a great race. And, you know, either way, the outcome, I'm proud of the, the race that my campaign's run and happy to have had this opportunity. Okay, and so far it looks like there's a heavy Republican vote uh, going out for the Republican ballot. Yeah, absolutely. Just as we, as, as they've done across the nation, Republicans have been turning out to vote for the president in this primary election. And I'm so thrilled that it's happening here in Peabody and across Massachusetts. So I, I hope that's a good, good sign for me that more people are getting out. They're voting Republican and 
hopefully they'll they'll look at the next ballot and they'll see they'll see another strong Republican on there as well. Well, the other strong uh, ballot is the unenrolled, and that's what we have to worry about. All candidates will have to worry, see which way they are going. We know the Republicans will go re Republican, Democrat will go Democrat, but the unenrolled, we don't know where they're going. Yeah, I think I think we're seeing more unenrolled people pull those those Republican ballots this year. People who either would stay home normally or are coming out uh, instead of pulling a Democratic ballot, they have much more to vote for on the Republican ballot for president this year. So it's it's great to see the turnout so high already in the day, and I, I hope that bodes well for for my campaign. Right, I know I go way back with your family, and uh, it seems like uh, you were a little girl when you, you first started, and your husband was just a little kid, and his, his uh, grandmother used to take him on the rides at the carnival. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's a, it's a you know, great Peabody family. Uh, we're, we're happy to be here, and it's, it's just been so wonderful to be able to make connections throughout this campaign with people uh, like yourself that, you know, maybe we never would have made that connection about, you know, my husband's grandmother and your family as well. So it's been, it's been wonderful, a great experience all around. Well, this is going to be on later tonight. Is there any uh, message you'd like to give the voters? When later tonight? <laughs> After the election? After the election, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the thank you for them. Well, yeah, no, so absolutely. Thank you so much for everyone who came out today and voted. Thank you um, for those of you who supported me. I, I can't thank you enough. Um, either way, how this election turns out tonight, um, thank you all for your support uh, throughout this campaign. It's been a wonderful six months, and I hope we can keep pushing forward. Okay, we hope we see you later tonight. Absolutely. Hey, well... <laughs> We're, we're back now. We're in uh, probably the hotbed of uh, politics in uh, Ward 1, Precinct 2. Uh, with me now is Tom Walsh. Uh, Tom, a great day for election, and there's no excuse not to vote. There's no excuse. You can't believe how uh, many people have been out all around the city today, which is great. Perfect weather. It's unusual. You think of wintertime, we'd expect a couple feet of snow and, and traveling through all the slush and everything, and it's exactly the opposite. I've had colder, uh, more challenging days in November than uh, it is today. Uh, do you think uh, the, the vote is going to help or hurt you, the larger vote? <laughs> good question. It's yeah. hard to tell. Look, we have a uh, higher than usual turnout today, which is good. I think it speaks well of our system. Um, but I don't really know what to make of it. We've worked hard over the last couple of months identifying our vote and, and getting our message out to the residents of Peabody um, and really promoting the city positively and what we can do for the city and its residents positively. And uh, so I'm optimistic that at the end of the day, uh, hopefully things will turn out the way we want them to. You certainly have kept this election on a positive note, uh, but it seems to be the, the unenrolled are the key ones, and a lot of people are taking Republican ballots on the on the other end. This is just for the for the Democratic state rep in the 12th Essex district. Right. So we have separate ballots, which is important. Um, so people are, when they they went into the polling places today, they first we're able to get the state representative ballot, which is the general election, so you don't have to declare the party that you belong to, and then move down that table and then declared either Republican or Democrat for, for that ballot. So um, they took those both both ballots into the, into the booth, and, uh, you know, it, every vote is, is private. That's why you have that voting booth. Did any of your workers give you any clue if they are taking both ballots? <laughs> <laughs> as long as they take this, the one that we need them to, that's the most important as far as I see today. Right. And uh, how about uh, so far on the out outcome, uh, you think you're doing pretty well? Well, I've been encouraged all around town. People have been very positive. People have start, stopped and spoken with me um, since this morning, all afternoon. And uh, they, they've been very encouraging, and I appreciate that. Right, and you've got a lot of workers throughout the city. We have. We've, uh, the campaign has grown, you know, from, from November when we just ended the city council race and then uh, really switched focus to this campaign. Um, it has grown by leaps and bounds and have had tremendous support from every ward in the city and, uh, you know, I would say every demographic as well. Right. Uh, well, this will be on the air uh, after the polls close, so maybe you want to give the voters a message now. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody who came out, come, came out and voted today. Um, it, it's really a great privilege for all of us to be able to vote and participate in the process. And uh, for everybody who has endured listening to all of us and uh, really participated in this process, I, I appreciate that greatly. And I think we could do good things for Peabody. And it speaks well for Peabody that so many people are coming out. Right. And this was a lot cleaner election than the, the uh, national election that's going on. Uh, thank God for that. Right. Well, thank you very much, Tom, and good luck to you. Thank you, Lou. Thank you.
And how about all those workers right behind us now? They're doing a great job. They sure are. Welcome back to Peabody City Hall, where we're still awaiting the official results for the Peabody State Rep Representative race. And I remind you that the numbers you see at the bottom of the screen are unofficial numbers. Um, we do have one of the candidates here, Lou, is with Stephanie Peach right now. So I'm going to turn it over to Lou. Lou? Uh, Stephanie, uh, it was a real great day, and I saw you out there um, quite a few times during the day. And uh, it was a really an exciting day for you. It was a wonderful day. I couldn't ask for better weather for a uh, March 1st uh, yeah. election, so it was a beautiful day with lots of people coming out to vote, uh, which is great, and you know, unfortunately we weren't able to come out successful this time, but it was a wonderful day to be with my supporters and, and to you know, meet more people as we go through the campaign. So the campaign headquarters always get the results way ahead of time, so you must have some pretty good results right now. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we have all the volunteers out pulling the tickets from each voting location, so we have the unofficial results as the, much, much sooner than City Hall does, but um, it, you know, we, we, we brought, pulled up a good percentage of the, uh, of the vote, so I, I'm proud of the campaign that we run and you know, worked hard being a first-time candidate in Peabody. It, it, was, it was a good experience. You must have learned an awful lot during this campaign. Oh yes, you learn how to walk for many hours, not sleep too much, and uh, learn how to pack a nice, nice lunch you can eat on the fly. Right now, what was most of the comments the people made to you? Uh, people were really excited to see someone so young running again. Um, I'm only 25, so being able to get out there and, and have the courage to put myself on a ballot, people were really impressed with that. So it was, it was a great response from people, very positive, had very few negative experiences, which speaks volumes to the type of residents we have here in Peabody. Well, I wish I was 25 and I would start all over, and now you can uh, really continue doing what you're doing, and God knows what's in the future for you. Yeah, absolutely. I, this is definitely not the end for me. This is just the beginning. So, uh, you know, I'd love to continue meeting more people in the city of Peabody, and this is, this is my forever home, so we'll definitely haven't seen the last of me. Right, and is there anything in the future that you can think of right now that you might be interested in doing? I uh, really, uh, you know. Besides getting another job. Yeah, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta start looking for a, for a job. Um, I've been waitressing through this campaign, so we're gonna, you know, put my degree to use. I have a master's degree in public administration, so hopefully, put that degree to to good use because it costs a pretty penny. Um, and you know, continue to stay involved in the community in every way that I can. Uh, and whatever opportunities come, you know, we'll see what doors open for me. Right. Is there any message you'd like to give the voters that probably the ones that did vote for you? No, I just want to thank everyone who came out to vote today, uh, especially those who supported me and gave me a shot. Um, I appreciate all of you. Thank you to my family and my friends. This was truly a grassroots campaign, and I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, my husband, my mother-in-law, my mother, we all we knocked on hundreds of doors um, individually, so thank you, thank you to everyone who supported this campaign. It was a great experience, and moving forward, we, we'll see what the future holds. Okay, thank you very much, and good luck. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, okay, just, just, uh, we do have some, temper, some unofficial results from the um, presidential primary um, results um, in, in Peabody. Um, Hillary Clinton um, took is leading in Peabody and also leading in the state. We got some numbers from, from um, she is leading in the state and also uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is making a, a fine showing in, in Peabody. Um, really, uh, <laughs> it's, not even, I don't know, it's not even close. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much of a landslide victory for Donald Trump. The Hillary uh, Clinton and uh, Sanders race is very close. Um, Usually, it looks like about 500 votes separating them. So, but we do understand that both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are leading statewide in Massachusetts. Um, it was great to see uh, Stephanie, uh, just as as a candidate. And when Lou gets back, he can tell you that anybody that puts your name out there needs to be congratulated. Um, she ran a great campaign. Uh, she did a wonderful job, and and um, she really needs to, you know to be congratulated. It's not easy. Um, one, of the, one of the most difficult parts now is she has to go face her supporters that work so hard for her, you know, and, and tell them that they didn't win. So it's not always uh, an easy task. Um, I see Lou is out with Julie, Julie Curtis. So, uh, so, this candidate for Democratic City. Lou, you gonna do it? All right, we're ready. Yeah. 
Julie, go ahead. You're on. Uh, Louis de Sosmo, once again, with Julie Curtis and Julie, a uh, state uh, Democratic, Democratic committee woman. And uh, you don't know how you did so far, but uh, we haven't got any results, have we? Not that we know yeah. of. No, we I don't think so. Um, I'm very, I love Peabody very much. I had a wonderful time door knocking in Peabody. Um, and I was on the show. You made the call. No, it was, it was what was the one with? Uh, what, well, sorry, you were on cable TV, TV yes, before. I was on cable. Yeah. I was on cable television, yeah. right. and I'm looking forward to the results. Um, I just, no. I'll be here till they come in. Now, what is part of your job? What What does the state committee woman the do? The state committee oversees the each city and town in the senatorial district has a Democratic and a Republican committee. And the state committee oversees the city and town committees. And what they do is they come up ways to fundraise, they come up ways to have grow the committees, get the committees more active, uh, get them to fundraise, get them to elect Democratic candidates. And I have been the recording secretary to the Danvers Committee since 2001, and we have a tremendous, successful um, Oktoberfest our fundraiser, and I've been on the committee since 2001, so I have extensive knowledge. And right now I'm just waiting for the results with everybody else. Okay. And thank you so much, and I love Peabody. Thank you very much, and good luck to you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Um, again, I'd like to just uh, say that the city clerk's office, as we look down the hall, is still um, boarded shut. Uh, but well, they do a fantastic job. I mean, do you? People don't realize that you know the day before the election, they come in, set up the polling places, you know, right. get everything ready, distribute the ballots. It's 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 a lot more work than people realize, and and you know, it just doesn't materialize that you just go to these polling places and vote. You know, there's a lot of work behind it, and I think Tim does a great job of, of setting that and, up. And it was a really a tricky election because there were two ballots. Right. You had to receive a Democratic ballot first, and then the, uh, a state ballot. Uh, for the two separate elections. But, uh, you know, uh, Barry, I walked through uh, Ward 2 and I went there at 8 o'clock tonight and uh, I got some results unofficially. Oh, good. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you can read my writing, or, uh, but uh, Stephanie Peach got 138 and 2-1. Two, uh, two Tom Walsh got 421. And uh, Gala got 35. And amazingly, there were 16 writing votes. It's, it's uh, that, and it's all the way through. In 2-3, there was 15 write-in votes. And Stephanie Peach got 281, Tom Walsh got 509, and uh, Gallagher got 39. Right. In 2-2, two, two, uh, Stephanie Peach got 156, Tom Walsh got 326, and Gallagher got th uh, 37, and there was one write-in. But uh, that seems to be what the trend was through the downtown area, yeah, yeah. Uh, including Ward 1 and, and 3. Yeah, Ward 1, you know, it's, it's funny, Tom lives in Ward 1, Tom Walsh lives in Ward 1, Stephanie grew up, I believe, on right on Linfield Street, so uh, it was kind of an interesting um, race in Ward 1, but but in Ward 1, one uh, Ward 1, Precinct 1, uh, Chris Gallagher got 55, Stephanie 356, and Tom 623, so a pretty right. good victory there for Tom. Um, and 1 2, Gallagher 37, Peach 460, and uh, Walsh 580. So they closed the gap a little bit there in 1 2. And in 1 3, Gallagher 40, Peach 382, and Walsh 704. So Tommy did very good in, in Wood 1 where, where he lived. Uh, and and so far, was. all the all the results that we have so far, uh, Gallagher, Gallagher never hit uh, triple digits in no. any, any precinct award. And, uh, and, and it shows you really have to get out there and walk the streets and work and sadly spend some money. I was, I was going to say, he was very quiet, yeah. you know, right, and right. he didn't get any literature out um, that, I, that I recall seeing. Right. So, um, you know, it, it's probably not a bad idea to get your name out there if, you, if you're going to be interested in politics. But um, unfortunately, you do have to do it in the right way and, right. and, and, and you know, show that you're willing to do the work. You know, that's what the people are looking for. You and know, the they, sad part of it, uh, Gallagher is very active within the city. Right, exactly. Know, so yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. Uh, 
the, the other thing is uh, Peach came uh, uh, close in 5-1, uh, 5-3. Yeah. And uh, in 5-1, she only lost by nine votes. So right. uh, she does have some voting. Oh, out she's, there. she's got and, some appeal. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Um, you know, speaking of the state rep race, who, you know, we've got a, in PB, we've got a pretty aggressive mayor. So, right. um, you know, whoever we send to the state house is going to have their work cut out for them. You know, they He's need always going to be looking for money. <laughs> you bet your life is always going to be looking for money. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I, I'm sure he'll be very aggressive in, in having them work to get, get their share of the grants and the money. So, um, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, we're, we're, we're dependent on it. You know, the city, the city needs the, the aid, the state aid. You know, we, we right. have a lot of plans for the downtown area. And um, not just the downtown area, but the rest of the city, you know, yeah, so. The, the, there's a lot of money out there right. that uh, is available to the cities. Right. And, and you have to have a real good hard work at it, going to get it. And I know that Tom will come up with a, a, a decent team that there will be always someone working on it. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure Tom will yeah. do, do a great job, right. you know, so. Um, yeah. But you know, and he's got the experience. You know, he's he's been he's been there before. Um, you know, so and Stephanie. You know, right. to be fair, Stephanie was was she Lear's works right there, state right? aide, yeah, aid, and, and she works right there at the state house. So yeah. they both knew the ins and outs of the state house. But um, you know, so I'm sure Tom uh, will be very aggressive when he as soon as he gets up on the hill. We, we still don't have the, the percentage of uh, people that voted. But no. how about this presidential election a little bit? Uh, it looks like uh, Clinton uh, took Peabody and uh, Trump took it for the Republicans. Yeah, Chuck took it big too for the Republicans, <laughs> I'll tell you. It was, uh, uh, so I, I think Trump really, uh, no matter how people say he turns people off, but he turned a lot of people on. He sure did. You know, I think he says a lot of things that people want to hear, and, uh, you know, and... and um, maybe it's the way he says it that uh, <laughs> they want to hear it, but... Uh, the, the way he says it, he, he has to calm it down a little exactly. bit. Exactly. I, I agree with you, Lou. Um, you know, I think, we, I think we're getting a message here. We're going to take a break. And, all, right. all right, so we're going to take a break. We're, hopefully the city clerk's office will be back with the official results. And when we get the official results, we'll be back on air. So and Good luck to Tom Walsh. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Well, welcome back to PBD City Hall. Lou, we're hearing from the city clerk's office that it might be a while before we actually get the official results. So I believe um, with the, the unofficial numbers are gonna be pretty be pretty much in close as far as the state rep goes. Um, I do understand from PBD Access Telecommunication that we will, that if you do stand by, the official numbers will be posted on, on, on channel nine tonight. Right. So, uh, yeah, and uh, I, I think we have to give a lot of credit to the city clerk's office, but people don't realize what the tabulation is when they're in there. Exactly. They have to count every single uh, figure that they have in front of them, and the Board of Registrars is doing that right now before they can say it's an official. Definitely, you don't want a mistake, but uh, the results that we have, we got them right from the polling place. Uh, we got them from the tape that come out of the machine. So I would, I would say a 99% accurate. You might see five or six votes here uh, that are not right, but uh, most of our votes are right. But I, I want to uh, really congratulate everyone, uh, PAT, the city clerk's office, and uh, they just did a great job and a great day for everyone, and especially Tom Welch and uh, Miss uh, Peach. Right, they uh, did. They both did a great job getting the vote out, and it was a good vote. And uh, you can't complain about that. No, we, we can't. And I just want to echo your, your thanks to PAT again, here with their crew doing a great job, uh, and as they always do. So, um, again, hats off to the city clerk's office and to the voters of Peabody for coming out to vote. And you, I'm, sure you, you, I'm sure you'll see the graphics on the board Camille Ballard, uh, Ben Meadows, and Jim Palmer. And our two camera people, we don't have their names right now, but. Uh, they'll be on the board, and there they are right there as we speak. So I want to thank you very much for watching us. And that's it, Barry. Ooh, thank it you was for a joining pleasure. Thank and you very much. It was really good. Thank you.